Okay, when it comes to shapes in Figma, you have a few options. If you click right here on the rectangle tool, you have all these types of shapes. Uh, let's just go through all of them and go through all the settings. So, the rectangle tool. If you want to resize it, that's how you resize it. If you want to make it a rectangle uh, square, basically, just hold shift while you're, while you're dragging uh, so that it always stays uh, the same aspect ratio. Uh, yeah, that's how you do it. Now, if you want to add border radius, just drag the corners. Uh, you can also add it right here. If you want to add like custom radius, just click on this one and then just make one more different than the other one. Uh, something like this. Now, let's go to the next tool, the line tool. I mean, it's a line tool. You have the thickness, type of endpoints, uh, yeah, settings. You can make it dashed, you can make it rounded, you can make the joints some stuff differently I don't know uh, that's how you do it now you have the arrow tool which is pretty much the same exact thing almost uh, then you have the ellipse tool the nice thing about the ellipse tool is that you have options for example you can drag the corners to make an arc you can make it uh, you can make the ratio smaller basically make it like a chart or like a donut or I don't know uh, again on the right side you have the, all these options to make them uh, like uh, specific values maybe you want a fixed number or something like that there is where you can do that uh, you can like of course to any layer you can add like fill you can make gradients you can replace them as images fill them with images uh, strokes uh, you can add to any of them effects like drop shadow glow uh, I mean inner shadow blur and background blur and that's basically it now, uh, polygon tool, uh, again, you can make it rounded, you can add right here more points, uh, yeah, and then you can, I mean, this is the radius, this is the count, and the uh, star tool, hold shift, you can make it more, I don't know, narrow, I don't know what's that called, you can change the count, again, you have an option right here, you can make it more rounded, uh, yeah, and these these are basically your options and like all the settings you have when it comes to shapes. Now, uh, if you have two shapes, for example, you can combine them or like do different stuff. For example, let's say you have those two shapes overlapped. Uh, if you click on Boolean tool or whatever it's called, Boolean group, you have all these four options. You can combine them, you can subtract them, you can intersect them, you can exclude them. Uh, you end up with something like this. Uh, yeah, and, and like. I don't think I missed any other option, but generally these are your options when it comes to interacting and manipulating shapes uh, in Figma. I mean, you can obviously try to combine stuff together and create custom stuff. You can use the pen tool to create custom stuff, then you get it uh, filled and you end up with something like this, which is, I mean, it's art. That's probably what you want. I mean, this is great. So yeah, that's, that's in really short the way you interact with uh, shapes and Figma and all the settings available. So uh, yeah, that's basically it.